Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 2042 developers are back in the office, hard at work on improving the game. We also got some good news regarding legacy features, but, uh, well, it seems like the bad luck continues with the latest patch. DICE did manage to squash a few bugs with Update 3.2, namely hit registration issues related to Sundance and vehicle passenger weapons. They also solved some instances of rubber banding while running behind friendlies or being stuck in a downed and alive loop. However, the latest patch also created some new problems. Players on Xbox One and PS4 were experiencing stability issues on the renewal map. Apparently, this was troublesome enough that DICE has actually removed that map from rotations on those platforms as a temporary measure. Now, there is no timetable for its return, but it may be fixable without the need for another patch. Developers say they will be keeping fans informed on when renewal will be renewed. Another faux pas arose with one of Battlefield 2042's own featured custom portal modes, Zombie Survival. The mode pit for human players against 64 AI-controlled zombies, but uh, that was quickly abused by players to farm XP and cosmetic unlocks. DICE pulled the mode after only a day, much to the irritation of fans who were actually enjoying it. Ironically, the latest Battlefield 2042 patch tweaked XP earning in Portal in a more constructive way. The per-minute XP cap across all Battlefield Portal modes has been bumped up to 300. That should make Portal games a bit more attractive to players while still limiting some of the abuse. DICE also announced players can pursue weekly missions on servers with limited modifiers and earn Mastery XP up to rank 12. On more heavily modded Portal games, players will only be able to earn XP, and again, that is capped at 300 per minute. Featured Portal game modes will function without restriction, which again is the reason the zombie mode got pulled. Meanwhile, developers revealed information on legacy features coming to Battlefield 2042 after weeks of near silence. DICE have announced a refreshed scoreboard will be part of an update in mid to late February. Obviously, this is welcome news for the player base, many of whom were stunned by the lack of the essential feature when the game was released. Developers actually provided a mock-up to showcase their initial plans for the return of the scoreboard. You can see here, players will soon be able to track score, kills, assists, revives, captures, and defenses. A refreshed user interface will also allow players to track upcoming ribbons, which provide additional XP. All of this information is useful for players, not only for competition purposes, but to examine squad effectiveness and track suspicious players. I say this is not a one and done update, so if you have feedback on the concept, make sure that you let DICE know. Personally, I'd much rather see captures or deaths listed over assists, but that's just me. Ping, I think, would also be a nice touch. Developers also revealed they're looking more into tweaking matchmaking preferences for all-out warfare. What exactly they mean by this is anyone's guess. It's not clear if DICE is going to add a server browser, restructure the default game mode for Battlefield 2042, or something else entirely. Devs also reaffirmed that voice chat is coming, though they did not make any promises on when that might be, stating only, quote, these are both still on our radar, and we'll have more to show and share on these topics further down the line, end quote. So all in all, not the greatest update after the holidays, but at least developers have the ball rolling. Personally, I found it a bit underwhelming and was hoping for, you know, more information on the future direction of the game. I'll talk more about this in a future video, but I think Battlefield 2042 really needs a hard re-release to undo the damage caused by a premature launch and unfortunate development decisions. Small tweaks and changes aren't going to do enough to bring back the audience, and uh, well, if EA and DICE aren't committed to doing what is necessary, Battlefield 2042 doomed to suffer the fate of Anthem. On the plus side, Marcus Leto is back on the job trying to turn the game around, and other developers are focused on listening instead of talking, which is obviously a good thing right now. 
just a little reminder, be supportive of developers while they get this bag of snakes laid out straight. Yes, that is a real analogy, and it's one of my favorites. Anyway, tell me what you think of the latest update here in the comments. If you want to take a look at the full patch notes, I'll leave a link down below in the video description. Uh, if you enjoy this video, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel, keep your money, share this video, and as always, thanks for watching.